Hey there, East Tennessee. Hope you have been doing well. Wanted to take a moment to talk about what we're seeing over in the tropics. Now, all eyes have been on what is now Hurricane Francine. It's a little bit after nine o'clock when it is still a category one storm after becoming officially a hurricane just a couple of hours ago during some of the overnight hours. You notice here that some of that satellite radar imagery already pushing into parts of Louisiana and Mississippi, and that's exactly what's happening with some of that rainfall as well. We're now seeing some of those stronger bands trying to pull its way in, separating from the eyes. It starts to almost expand and grow a little bit. So we're still looking at some development as it makes its way towards the coastline. Some of that rainfall already reaching parts of New Orleans and even Lafayette as well. You can even see some of the lighter rain that's reaching further up into the state and into the south. Now notice just how many warnings we have in place. We've got hurricane warnings, tropical storm warnings, impacts about the storm surge, which could reach up to 10 feet on the coastlines between Lafayette and New Orleans. We are seeing torrential downpours of rainfall that could get up to four inches per hour, leaving totals of six inches, if not a little bit greater. A lot of impacts here that we're seeing along these coastlines. There's even severe risk for some of the storms that could roll through thunderstorms that can develop because of the system. As we look between the boot of Louisiana, including New Orleans, all the way over to the other side as we look into the Florida Panhandle. That even continues as we look to tomorrow because as the system keeps traveling up through the deep south, stronger storms going to develop along the frontal boundary that builds with this system leading through parts of Alabama. But here's a look at the track that we're seeing. Notice how all that heavier rainfall in the boot leading up through Mississippi and eventually into western Tennessee. That's when we get our opportunity for some of those bands as well. And reaching into Friday, that's when we get our chance to see some of that heavier rain. Now, you might have noticed that this cone hangs a little bit further over towards the east of Mississippi. And this model in particular wants to keep it a little bit further into the middle of the state. That's one of the things that we're watching, whether the system is going to hang a little bit further to the east or to the west. We will continue to keep an eye on that because either way we've got a good opportunity for some rainfall that'll come to us here in East Tennessee. Extremely heavy rain totals that could be upwards of six inches if not greater at times while us here in East Tennessee some places could get upwards of maybe an inch inch and a half with the lightest totals that are going to sit further up into upper East Tennessee because gusty winds and down sloping winds could kind of inhibit rainfall for people up in the mountains. We're going to continue to give you updates because Francine is expected to make landfall later sometime this afternoon and evening so be sure to stay tuned.